man, that was a real tough loss to produce 70 to 65 in the Big Ten quarters. Welcome to the channel where I'm talking all things Philadelphia Eagles, New York Yankees, New Jersey Devils, and Rutgers Scarlet Knights. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Yeah, real, real tough one. I mean, uh, 70 to 65 final score left it all on the line. I mean, real proud of the Rutgers team. I went toe to toe with number one seed, top seeded Purdue in the Big Ten, like we always do. Played really well against them. Just came up short today. I mean, this game started out oh, at a 12 point lead. Great, great start. You knew Purdue was going to bounce back, come back in this game, which they did and tied it up, up by a point at halftime. And the rest of the first half, second half, just total grind. I mean, Purdue got up by a little bit. I think largest eight point lead there. We kept grinding. I mean, this team. Love this team. I mean, no quit. From top to bottom, the starters, to the guys on the bench, everyone every one of these guys on this team lifted all on the line today on the court. And Brown, I mean, uh, it just didn't work out. Like, um, yeah, down down the stretch there. You had the freshman Derek Simpson. Derek Simpson, 18 points, career high. But then uh, a couple of layups, I mean, didn't fall for him, which we needed to fall. And had to go into the foul line, shooting three foul shots. Missed his first two when he went up 5-5 five, five for the day. Rutgers ended up going 9 for 13 from the line. Just a lot of the misses came in that last kind of minute. Cam missed one. And Derek missing two there. And Paul missed one earlier in the game. But, yeah, I mean, it just didn't work out. But the press the press Rutgers played on uh, Purdue was amazing. Forced a number of turnovers. And uh, really, really made a big, big hassle for Purdue there. Kept Rutgers in the game there. Gave him opportunity. Just couldn't convert. And uh, ended up tying the game up and take the lead. But, uh, yeah, I mean, left it all on the court. Proud of every single one of these guys. I mean, battle foul trouble. First half, second half, Caleb fouls out. Played great defense with big shots in the game for us. Cliff battled those four fouls. Got two fouls called against him in, like, four seconds. And now the eight-minute mark was crazy. Battled the officiating the whole game. And, um, yeah, they grinded. Paul McKay, a warrior. I mean, yeah, I've mentioned I've talked a lot of crap about him recently. And a lot of people have. But not never the person. I mean, love Paul Mulcahy, what he's done to Rutgers his four years, and what he's done this this Big Ten tournament, the way he bounced back. I mean, he would say, I mean, he's probably battling injuries beforehand, but his play is still that. I mean, he still wants to go out there and play well, and it hasn't beforehand. But in his two two games, I mean, the passion and emotion he put out there on the court, I love that. And then his play, knocking down a couple big threes yesterday and today, and then making some good passes. I saw a stat line, you know, like around 10 points, so... A number of assists, uh, no turnovers. A real, real solid game for Paul Mulcahy. Love that. You see, he was hurt. His back was hurt and everything, but he just stayed on the court and played, kept playing through that. <laughs> Pike was like, he's fine. He's going to play. He's a warrior. He's a warrior. And a lot of these guys are Keegan McConnell, Cliff, Cam Spencer was grinding, battling. Like I said, Derek Simpson, the freshman. The freshman controlling the point and everything. 18 points. Yeah, missed a couple at the end there. Some, But he's a freshman. And he's grinding out, battling, a warrior, getting all these minutes. And he's, and he's uh. Big Ten tournament game, so yeah, I mean it's it's a tough one. It's a game, uh, you ha I mean had you went toe to toe. I mean he played really really solid, defended as best you could, eating everybody. He played great press at the end of the game, and I uh, give credit to Purdue. I mean these guys off the bench, the bench points were insane. It was back to back to back three second half, but uh, Rutgers still overcame that. I mean we're we're still in the game late, which is great to see. And uh, yeah, just overall tough one against a very very good Purdue team. We want to see in the Big Ten, like I said, but. The way we played against Michigan yesterday and Purdue today, I think we should definitely be in a tournament. But now we just wait. We wait Sunday, selection Sunday, and see how it all unfolds. So I got, like I said, I'm proud of this team, proud of every one of these players on this team, all the coaching staffs, the guys on the coaching staff, and assistants, and then our okay, head coach, Steve Peichel, like the way he got us to rebound and play in the Big Ten tournament. That's all I got. Uh, like I said, it's always, we'll wait Sunday. It's always uh, go Rutgers, like the video, leave a comment about your thoughts, subscribe to the channel, and as always, let's Go Rockers.